what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're in the cobra gonna be doing like a little drive with me video a little how i've been doing with the car how i feel about it uh maybe talk about the imperfections of it you know let me get it ready though because you know i don't really know how to drive manual that well yet so i don't want to launch it into first and bump into this car right in front of me so i gotta really be on my shit so oh I th sorry about the cursing guys all right we got it in reverse we got the bite point right there right there put it in first I'm always scared about driving in this car, man. It freaks me the fuck out. Put it in first. Put it in. All right. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, yeah, so driving experience, still learning manual. Hills are still scary. Haven't stalled out yet though. So that's good. All right. But yeah, overall I feel like I'm getting it a little bit better. Understanding the gears, uh, knowing when to shift, when not to shift. It's really like a, a hassle, I'm gonna be honest. like. I know a lot of you, uh, what is it called? Manual lovers are going to be like judging me a little bit because I'm talking bad about manuals, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of a hassle to be driving stick. You know, it's kind of, um, constantly up, down, up, down. Like I was in traffic, especially you're just constantly going through first, second, first, second. And, uh, but when you get it on the open, smooth road, uh, there's no better feeling. I will give you guys that. Like, that is a nice feeling. Like, shifting, holding third, holding it through third, giving it good gas, doing good shifts. Like, that, that is an unmatchable feeling. I'm not going to lie. That is a really good feeling. And it's a feeling that I feel like would feel better in a more modern car. But it feels really good in a older car, too, as well. It's not that bad, but... I feel like in a, in a like a Porsche, this would be crazy feeling. But yeah, uh, it's been almost a month now that I've had the car. Uh, a lot of, not too much work on it. Not too much work on it. Uh, look at that, was that smooth guys? I don't know, can you guys tell? I don't know if you guys can tell, but by the by the noises of the engine, but I, I think it wasn't that bad. Probably one of my better shifts, to be honest. Yeah, see, that was one of the, my my worst shifts. Couldn't find fucking second gear. Yeah, that, that's honestly one of my biggest um, issues that I've had so far. Uh, and I don't know why it always happens. Like, I just can't slam it into second gear. Uh, I feel like I'm always just struggling to get from first to second. And it, it just never goes in. Like, I, like, I'll shoot it. I'll overshoot it or something. Because it just never goes. This is more just like a pop. If uh, I'm driving to the car wash, I'll probably do another video over there. But yeah. I'll do a maybe under the hood one too, actually.
I'll show you guys what it what it looks like under the hood. Uh, I don't know how much more maintenance this car is gonna need. Uh, I know that the spark plugs were replaced before it was stopped driven, so I think that should be all right. Um, I got an oil change. Uh, I don't know about the radiator. The radiator. I've never had it heat up too much on me. Like I've I've always driven it maybe like a like three miles a, uh, every trip because I don't really drive it too far. But I've never had an issue with it overheating. Oh, those were solid shifts right there. Ride third gear, baby. That's the that's the best gear. I didn't give it enough power. Just a short little drive with me. Yeah, I don't know if I should be doing that, man. I really just always skip um, skip going through all the downshifts and crap. So, and I always just really go to, like, the main one. Let's see. A lot of thing about this manual driving, you really got to prep for it. You really got to be on your stuff. See, the car's gonna fucking stall on me right there. There we go. I don't downshift, I don't do that. I just, I just don't, I don't understand how to really, like, go from fourth to first in, like, under a split second. Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, here we go. A nice little sharp turn for me. Is this guy washing his car or nah? I think this guy just parked there. All right. Yeah, second gear is the worst gear by far to get into. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm waiting in line now. Anyways, we're back for part two. I just finished washing the car. Sorry I cut it off. You know, I got a little nervous when there's a lot of car people around me, you know. I feel like they're real judgy. So I uh, cut it off, and uh, we're done with the car wash now. Now we're going to go get, pick up some gas. It is running on a quarter tank. The thing about this car is I don't think I've ever filled it up. I don't think I've ever killed all the old gas that was in it so sometimes i get a little weird funky sm gas like smell at after i'm done driving so i think that's partially old gas that's still stuck in there so i mean i'm at a quarter i'm always putting in like fuel additive and trying to make sure that the that the gas is clean and the engine's all good cruising down right now gonna pass this BMW over here
more of a, like a pop drive with me. You know, don't really know what to talk too much about. Oh, I can talk about the imperfections. I guess I can show that after. Uh, excuse the road noise. The, you know, it's not a the most. Um, what's it called? Noise canceling um, car out there, but there is some rust. I think I've mentioned that before. There is rust. There's um. There's rust. There's the seats aren't the same color. The paint is chipping off. The paint is faded off. Sorry. The paint is completely faded off in one. Oh, that was a smooth third gear transition. Yeah, there's a couple issues with the car. I'm not going to lie. Unfortunately, wow, that was kind of triggering. It just got passed up by a Honda Civic, so that was embarrassing. Whoops, not supposed to put down the... Uh, windows when I'm after a car wash so mistake mistake so I'm coming up to this one uh, spot right here that always is my uh, the bane of my existence I like to call it because it is a, a overpass over a freeway where I have stalled out once or twice on and I feeling pretty confident that I won't do it anymore because I don't mind rolling back anymore because it's not that big of a deal. I just can't get too nervous about it and then let it get to me is what, it, what the issue is. Usually I'll just freak out, give it too much, uh, give it too much gas or whatever. Give it too much gas and stall out or let go of the clutch too quickly and then stall out as well. So yeah, let's see what happens right now. God, I feel like I'm driving this thing like a badass though right now. So it's a series of two, uh, well, one red light with a hill on it. Well, it's not a hill. It's I guess it's like an incline. But, you know, it always freaks me out in the car. I should do it at night when I can't freak out because there's no cars behind me. I guess that would be a good solution. But yeah. This is just, I guess, the pop. I can't really get... I don't know how to really... Oh, I guess I would put it on my forehead, I guess. Here we go. Okay, it ended up being a green light, so we're a-okay. 